Hi guys, welcome to this video on Microsoft Word. In this session, we're going to look at section breaks and column breaks, and through that, looking at how to change the numbering between those sections and change the headers between different sections. So first of all, section breaks. If you click onto the layout tab, you can see the breaks feature there. So first of all, section break, next page, I'm going to do that twice, so I end up having three pages. So if I minimize those down, you can see three pages. I'll just change the uh, settings so that they are side by side. Three pages. Now, normally to do a header, you can double click into the top of the page and you'll just see the header section. But once you've done section breaks, you get section one, section two, section three, and so on with the footers. One, two, and three. So this is what you can do. If I type my first name at the top, as it is at the moment, everything is linked together, so my first name comes through on every page. However, if I click into this one and take this off, now I can't click it there, but I can take it off from this option, link to previous, click that off. So if I now change that to my second name, there's my first name, there's my second name. Now this is my second name also because this one is still linked to this middle section. So if I take that one off, link to previous off, I can then change this to be my first name again. So I have now got first name, second name, first name. Now in terms of page numbers, the same principle applies. So if I select a page number, bottom of the page, I'll just pick a plain one. It goes one, two, now if I want this one to be Roman numerals, I have to highlight it, go into Format page, page Numbers and select the numbering style that I would like, which is that one, click OK to that. So that changes to a an I that sits at a 2 and that says 3. So what I need to do now is click into this footer, break the link highlight the number and set that to start at number one. So I do want it to be one, two, three, but start at number one. Okay, start at number one. Now this says two. I'm gonna click into that section, break the link, and then change this to a letter A and select start at letter A from page numbers. Format page numbers, A, B, C, capital ABC and click the start at option and it will automatically default to the letter A. So now I've got I, one and A. Now if I quickly double click out of the head and footer and do control enter for a hard page break. Do that again, it didn't do it. You can see there I've now got I, I and then it says one. And if I click there and do control enter I get another page, page two. And then this one, if I do it again here, it will be the letter B. There's the B. So as you increase within each section, the numbering will increase for that section. So that's how you do sections and then change the numbers. And if I just close this document down for a minute and don't save it, and get myself a blank document, control N for new, when you use columns, the process is slightly different. So let's have a look at how that works. If I go to layout and select columns, if I go three columns, you can see those columns on your ruler. If your ruler is not active, go view ruler. Always a good thing to have on. Now, if I type down this first column, which is great, but then when I want to click into the next column, I can't click into the next column. I would have to go all the way down this column before it would come back up to the next column and all the way down that one before it would come back up to this one. Unless you do this, go to breaks, column, column break, and then it moves across. And then you do the same for the next one, breaks, column, and it moves across. And then if I press enter one more time, 
Now what I need to do is say, say I want to go back to a normal Word document. I no longer want columns. I need to do this, breaks, continuous. And at the moment, that's still not fixed because I still have the three columns. I then need to put the columns back to one and then that would allow me to type all the way across like that. Obviously, if you go back into these columns and start to press enter, you'll see uh, you'll bring the columns down. Now, if you want to see where the column breaks are, you can go view outline and you can see the breaks. And if you delete any of these, you will totally trash this document. You can also do that, sort of do that or see some things when you go show hide. So you've got a column break there. It doesn't really show as much as what view um, outline does. Or view, if I go to view as well, draft does the same thing. And then back to print layout. So that is how you do column breaks and then breaks continuous. Now if I close that one down, don't save it, get myself a new document. You can do section breaks like this. Sometimes you may want to have some pages that are landscape and some pages that are portrait. Now to do that, you can sort of say you're typing away the first page and you're doing some information there. Now you decide you want a couple of tables. So what you can do is go layout, breaks, next page. And then on this next page, change the orientation to landscape. So there's your table pages. You do a few tables. You may do two or three pages of this and then you decide now you want to go back to a portrait page you would then do exactly the same thing breaks next page and then on the next page you would change the orientation back to portrait and then the same process would repeat as you're typing in this page it will just keep creating extra portrait pages now what you have to bear in mind with sections section breaks is that if you delete a section break it may have a catastrophic catastrophic impact on the rest of the document so for example if I come onto this page and let's have a look what can I do view outline section break let's get rid of that so I've clicked on it I'm pressing delete closing that so what's happened there is the these two pages I'm no longer uh, looking at that page. There's no break between them. So they've all, this page has flicked over to landscape like these two. Now, if I do undo Control Z, you can see how it was supposed to be. This can happen. Uh, some of my clients often say that they copy and paste large chunks of documents from one source into another. And then the sections are all over the place and they're not quite sure where, they are, where the sections are. They go through a process of deleting sections to see the impacts and obviously it can be a quite a long-winded process to fix a document if sections are all over the place. But it's nothing to be afraid of. As long as you understand where, how they work and how to see them, I think it's quite straightforward to manage, manage section breaks. Okay, so that is the end of this session. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one.